Hi, I thought I'd start by showing you my sewing machine. And next to it, or behind it, is another sewing machine. That's my uh, small portable that I take to classes. Right now it's set up on this other desk, and that's where my daughter sews. Uh, the two of us have been making masks, which I'm sure a lot of you have been doing as well. Um, I mentioned that my uh, studio has a lot of light. It does. And let me back up so you can see. Um, there are three windows, but this late in the day, there's not a lot of light that shines on my work surfaces. So that's why I was saying that I wanted to add some more light there. Um, to the left of my sewing machine, I have uh, a television, which is always nice. And then I have my desk, and this is where I create my patterns and write. And you can see there's a little spot there for the cat to be if she wants to be. Um, over here by the windows, I have the sofa table. It used to be across from my desk or across from my sewing machine. Um, and it had my cutting mat on it, but it was never big enough. So I moved it over here and put the Ikea storage unit underneath. And in that storage unit, I keep my, uh, fabrics all sorted by color. Um, there, yellow. And, uh, and my wool pressing mat and my longer um, AccuQuilt Go cutters. And then, the, but the space is really for my AccuQuilt Go. So when I, it's folded up, but then when I need it, I open it up. Um, got a, a cutting mat here, a small one. So it's near my sewing area. And then I've got a small ironing board. Underneath the ironing board and small cutting table are on top of an Ikea cabinet which has a few fabric drawers and in the fabric drawers are batiks sorted by color and then I've got my fusibles and my giveaways and my postal station just all right at hand. Oh I also have a small little uh, design wall nearby but and I tend to hang finished quilts on it once they're done but uh, because it's right next to my sewing area I can use it to lay out a block if I need to which is nice. Um, here is my fabric storage, sorted by color. Um, batting is on top. My thread collection is on top. Um, over here are uh, tools and older works in progress. I've got to keep a step stool because I do have the batting on top and I don't want to fall when I try to grab it. Um, over here I have my black and white fabrics as I mentioned in the in the post and uh, underneath some magazines. Uh, those containers there are my current works in progress, so they're really handy, easy for me to find. And on top are just uh, some pre-cuts and things that I try to display. And they're, I like to look at them every once in a while, bring them out and pet them. Um, here's my printer table. This used to be where I would collect some of my current works of progress, and I just didn't really like that system. So I've moved my printer here, and now it's a lot easier for me to get to and to keep my papers nearby and it's just I just love it it's a lot more organized um, over here is my design wall uh, it is really large it can hold pretty much a queen size quilt um, on the floor you can see uh, laying on its side is my full-sized ironing board so it's out of the way um, and I can pull it out when I'm making a big quilt and I need to do that final pressing Oh, and I have a step stool there because uh, getting up to the top there of the design wall to put my blocks up, I, I need a step stool. Over here is my husband. He shares the office space with me. Hello, Scott. Hi. And uh, let's see, over here is my big cutting table. Uh, it's a folding table. Um, and uh, it's wide enough to hold my big mat. Uh, I've got some quilts that just came back from Island Batik that I'll be showing soon in a, a virtual truck show. Uh, underneath, oh, I have the, the table on risers, which brings it up to the right height. And underneath, I can store my uh, sewing machine cart, uh, my spare irons. my um, uh, Those are uh, the uh, backgrounds for my photo cube and other miscellaneous things, my patterns and whatever. Over here I have a filing cabinet, and on top of the filing cabinet is my photo cube. 
Um, you, as you can see, there's lots of little places where you can stick your camera in and get the right shot. Inside, it's like this perfectly well-lit um, area, so it's where I can get good pictures of like pre-cuts and other small items. And then back this way are my quilt books. And, um, and this is the, the little desk that my daughter will sit in from time to time, and that's where she's been sewing. So that, I think, should give you a general idea of the layout of my uh, studio. And, you know, it's where I, I call home. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you read the post, then you'll find out more about how I made decisions as to where I put things and, and rearrange things during this recent studio cleanup. Thank you for stopping by.